Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of my Starters Order 7 playthrough. Uh, we are towards the end of the season. I took a couple days break <coughs> from playing this to experiment with some breeding practices. So I think starting next year, we're going to have some interesting breeding <coughs> strategy that we're going to implement on our farm here. Uh, currently, we have in our racing stable a four-year-old stallion, or I guess he's still a colt, technically, um, who has been winning us quite a few races, actually. He's been doing really well. You can see his record here. Uh, lots of money has been winning us. So... I'm just looking around my farm because I don't remember exactly where I left off what I was trying to do. All of our mares are breeding. They're in full, which is good. <clears throat> so, let's see. He just raced yesterday, so let's give him a little bit of a break. Love how fast my game is letting me skip now. Um, let's try to find him a race. Actually, let me look at his stats. Detailed stats. No, no, we want the regular stats. There we go. High speed, high acceleration, high potential. He's really good. He's at his peak right now. So I think next year he'll be five, and I think we should breed him. We'll use him as our main breeding stallion for my new plan, which I will unveil when the year starts over. <sighs> for now, let's find a race for him. He is a sprinter. We'll get past the declaration penalty cutoff and find a good race for him. Mm, he's a little overqualified for that race. He's a little uh, underqualified for this race. The Breeders Cup. In Keeneland, huh? There's not really a whole lot left for him to do. Let's skip ahead a little bit, see if we can find something better for him. If not, this will probably be his last race of the season and his career, because we are breeding him next year. <clears throat> So let's see. Is there something better we can put him in? Nope. All right, we're going to go for it. He may be way underqualified for this race. He'll be a long shot, but maybe he'll surprise us. I don't know. All right, here we go. Let's see. 16 to 1. Odds. We'll try it. Beautiful day. And they're off. He is the six horse. We gotta change our our kits. And or the early leader is number ten from number six. Number five called. is leaving it late. Where is number he? 10 is the narrow leader from He's the number six, six horse. Number seven and number four. Oh, we're right in the front there. Yeah, we're right here. They have three furlongs left to run. Number eight is the narrow leader from number six. 
Number 11, staying on late on. Number two, making late progress. A quarter of a mile to run. Number eight is the narrow leader from number seven. He's losing a little speed here. See if he can give a nice push toward the end. They're in the final furlong. Number seven just leads from number eight and number six. Hang on, hang on. Don't let ten get past you. Ah. The favorite takes the win. All right. Let's see how he did. He ended up in fourth. So we got some money from that, at least. Not a bad showing, considering he was outclassed by most of the other horses there. Our jockey likes it. All right, I'm happy with that. And I believe we should Let's send him out to grass for the rest of the season. I doubt we'll find another race for him. Okay. So our season is done. We just have to skip. All right, we're getting a little bogged down here with the old computer skipping. So once we go to the next year, I'm going to completely revamp our breeding situation. Alright, come on, you can do it. I really wish there was a skip to end of season button. Since we are using the start it mod, we have to go all the way through December. All right. We did not win any awards this year, which is fine. We have a lot of new horses this year. Yearlings. So, and we have a lot of new two-year-olds here. So let's take a look at these two-year-olds. This one I don't like. We'll get rid of them. This one I don't like. We'll get rid of them. This mare is just okay. Uh, yeah, I'll get rid. We're going to be starting fresh. Get rid of this horse. And get rid of this horse. That should bring us in some good money. So, go in our breeding here. Our breeding stallions, I think Flying Spur, I don't want to use him again. I think his career is over as far as being a stud. Um, we can't return him to the main stable, unfortunately, and try to sell him, but that's okay. You know, we'll keep him. Maybe he'll get hired out, even though we don't have a stud facility. Maybe somebody will send for him or something. I don't know. Our mares are looking old. So I think I'm going to get rid of all of them. Yeah. Okay, we can't sell them. But I can retire them from the game. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all of them. 
we want a new fresh set of mares plus these none of these were particularly good anyway retire 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 and definitely retire <coughs> okay so now we have some yearlings from last year but we'll just end up selling those next year when they turn two so I'm going to send Lucifer's to stud these are some great stats for this horse and then our first batch to begin this breeding line this dynasty legacy line will be from our really good horse Lucifer's Poyens so let me uh, off screen real quick yeah, I don't think you can see this I think you just see my regular game screen let me start a little chart Um, shoot. <coughs> Bear with me for a minute. I have to get my little stuff ready. Where's my chart? Here's my chart. Okay. I'm going to make my own chart. Open up the open office spreadsheet. Uh, yeah, just go get a snack or something. I'm just going to build up my little spreadsheet. There we go. Okay. One, two... One, two. That's good. That's good. So, yeah, I've been reading a lot about line breeding and inbreeding. And I think I have a good plan to do this. Okay, that's ready. We'll get this ready. Wait, I am confused. Oh. Okay. All right. I'm getting there building here All right looking good that's all set up 
and that is all set up and that's all set up okay <clears throat> so what we want to do here is start off with Lucifer what was his full name Lucifer's Poyans. Terrible name. Lucifer's Poyans. All right. He'll be our first stud. be stud A1. We need two more studs and four more mares. <clears throat> okay. I think I'm ready now. So we're selling off all of them. We've got our stallion. Study, study boy. We need mares. And I think I'm just going to pick for the other two stallions from this list. We'll borrow some. Okay, so now we are just looking for the next breeder sale, which is the 10th of February. And our money should go up quite a bit. $13 million. Very profitable. And we're just going to skip till the 10th of February. I decided we're going to go for this first four generations uh, we're gonna do some line breeding I think this is a f four by three but we'll get get this started because we have a really good horse as a base all right I don't want to overshoot this so here's our breeder sale and we've got a lot of good money now so I want to go after just the best horses like this 117 and maybe these ones that are in the 90s yes yes okay A lot of bidding back and forth of these guys. Okay, we got one of them. That was nice. This is the expensive horse. Put our bids in. Quit outbidding me. I want this horse. Oh, I didn't even pay attention how old they are. I should probably check. 
It's a four-year-old, a six-year-old, and a nine-year-old. Okay, so not the youngest horses, but not the oldest either. That's totally fine by me. All right, we got three of them. Let's go ahead and start breeding them. And I will enter them into our chart. So, let's take a look at them first. That's a good horse. It's a really good horse. Well-rounded. That's a good horse. That's a speedy horse. That's totally fine. I like that. Okay, so let me just double check. So what we want to do is have... Ideally, we want to get one more mare. Ah. And... We're going to breed our best stallion with two of them. So let's get that started. And we'll pick our best two. So we'll look for Lucifer. go we'll get them going and then we'll do one more with another mare but uh, one of them one of these can go with a different mare of our choice we want somebody potentially young or -er. so Let's look. And um, our budget is pretty outstanding, so we want to probably get this top horse. Okay. Sarando. Sarando's won a lot of races. 12 Division I wins. That's amazing. We're paying a hefty fee, nine, about 900000 to mate with our horse. Um... Now I'm just going to skip. We'll do the skippy skip. And we'll wait for Lucifer to be done, which he should be right now. Let's see. There he is. He's ready to go. All right, that's all set up. And now we just need to skip to the next uh, breeder sale. Let me make sure I write down these horses here on my chart. Um... So Lucifer is going to be with Blinding Mitten and Savannah. Go to my chart here. I know you can't see it. I'm sorry. Shit. Didn't want to do that. All right. This first Poyens is there. And what were the names of those horses again? I'm going to say before we keep alt tabbing. <clears throat> Blind
Blinding Mitten. And the other one was Savannah. And then we have Sarando, the stud, is with Bariusim Rising. And now we just need a mare, and we will borrow a horse for that new mare. <sighs> okay, I like this plan. Hopefully we can churn out some champions in the future. Um, see when the next breeder sale is. <sighs> March 23rd. I was worried there for a second. I thought we were going to get crashed out. I better save again. Very paranoid. When did I say that was? March 23rd. So we'll skip all of February and most of March. Hopefully it's not too boring that we don't have anything to race this season. <clears throat> but I really want to see if this experiment works. All right. Our sale is on the 23rd. Reader sale. And we just need one. Let's get the younger one. It's 105. That's a lot of money, though. Um, you know, what, let's highlight these, and hopefully, we won't need them. We'll see if this price gets out of control. It's over a million now, which I don't think is accurate for a mare to go for over a million, but I could be wrong. I, l I really want to get this rolling, so I'm just going to try to win this horse right here. All right. Did we get it? I think we got it. All right, I'll skip to the end then. Let's check. Yes. Okay, we have four mares. And Lu Hasoa, majestic. Looking pretty decent there. We are going to breed them with a third stallion. So I think I'm doing a four by three or a three by four or something, uh, which I I guess means the three is three stallions are starting the lines, and then the four is four generations. I'm not sure, or maybe it has to do with sh which shared ancestors. Then we're gonna mate our stallions with. Um, some descendants of these horses in a couple generations to do a little bit of line breeding. Okay. La Lujosoa Majestic. Let's pick a good one for them. We already used Sarando, so we don't want to use him. 
We'll use General Gamboul. These fees are ridiculous. But we got plenty of money. The game is not stingy on giving you good prices for stuff. So, make sure, double check. All right. Lu Hosoa Majestic is with General Gamboo. Now let me add them to my chart. And if I can figure out how, maybe I will show you my chart later. If this works out, I will create a tutorial on how to do this. Uh, so, our stallion, third stallion is going to be General Gambool. How old is General Gambool? Nine years old, okay. Hopefully they don't retire before we need them again. That would totally screw this whole thing up. Our mares are young enough to where we should still be able to use them. So, Luhosoa Majestic. That's good. Okay. So, let me check my chart with my sample chart. Which I know you can't see. So, I got Lucifer's going with them. And then this one with that one, that one with that one. Okay. So let me check here. Let me double check here. Bear with me. I'm sorry. <laughs> so actually, this is a three by three model, uh, which is based on the horse Nirko, which was a horse in the 30s, 1930s. And Nirko was a stallion in the first generation. It mated with some mares to create Rebellus. Hold on, let me let me reread this. I hope I'm doing this right. One can see Nirko is three by three to Chaucer and Rebellus, they sons of iconic Saint Simon by Gallopin. What? Sister twice or more now breaking. Line breeding is the presence of an ancestor twice or more in a horse's pedigree with at least one strain present from each parent. So I hope I'm reading this correctly. Let me double check. I could be totally screwing this up, in which case we'll have to start over. <laughs> so Nirko, Nirko is the stallion. I know that for sure. So let me look up... Uh, Haversack 2 horse. And, uh oh. That's interesting. Okay, Haversack 2 is a stallion. So I think I'm reading this chart wrong. Let me. Just for you guys' sake, let me see if I can get share my screen. Um, 
we'll do a so you can see what I'm looking at and we will figure it out together Just add. Window capture, game capture. Sorry, it's been a while since I've recorded videos, so I'm kind of relearning. Display capture, let's try that. There we go, now you can see what I'm looking at. And... Can I switch back and forth? I don't know. Okay, you can see what I'm looking at now. So let me pull up my chart. There we go. Okay, so I was thinking that this second row is... Oh, wait a second, This these are earlier. So I'm totally backwards on this. Okay. All right. So let me see. We will figure this out together. My, I had to, because I'm looking at the years. So the left is the most recent, and the right is the furthest back. Or maybe not. Let me. Man, I'm totally screwed up here. That's okay, it's a learning experience. Maybe you'll learn something too. We'll do it together. Okay. Nierko, Stallion. Haversack 2, Stallion. Let's look up Scapa Flow. Scapa Flow Horse. A Son of Man of War. A Stallion. These are all Stallions. Um, Rabelais, Horse, Thoroughbred Heritage, Stallion, these are all Stallions, Saint Simon, Horse, 1881 looks possibly correct. St. Simon was an undefeated British thoroughbred racehorse and one of the most successful sires in the history of the thoroughbred. Okay, so these are all sires. So, okay, I'm getting an understanding now. So I was confusing line bread and inbred because I was looking up inbred stuff earlier. So inbred is when the mares get involved on the chart. So right now, okay, I've totally screwed this up, <laughs> but I think I understand now. So the Nierko, famous horse in 1930s, if we go back a few generations, this undefeated British thoroughbred horse, St. Simon, mated with a mare. Did they mate with satirical? Let me see that. Satirical horse. Uh, it's going to be 1800s. This is going to be hard to find. All right, let's try something different. Let's try Simona horse, 1800s. That 
There is St. Simon. Oh, here's a thoroughbred database. Why didn't I just do this? <clears throat> okay, what were we looking at? Satirical? No, not satirical. Uh, Simona. Simona, let me see. Let me see. Let's just do one of these. Oh, this is Simona. So, this goes back to... Okay. St. Simon. And Flying Footstep. Is Flying Footstep a mare? Go back, St. Simon. Breed H. All right, let's look up Nearco. Where is Nearco? This is Nearco. There's Rabelais and Haversack. We know Haversack is the sire. Okay, Scapa Flow. Now I'm really confused. Now I'm really confused. Rabelais. Horse concourse. Those two made Haversack. Is that right? Haversack and Scapa Flow. Made. Hmm. This is thoroughly confusing. There's St. Simon. Here's St. Simon. St. Simon, if this is... Alright, we need to cross-reference this. <laughs> I'm actually in graduate school right now, getting a master's in history, and this stuff still confuses me. <laughs> right, we'll open up a third window. Screw it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, Pharos and Nogara are here. So let's look up Nogara horse. No, not that. That's the same thing we just had. Nogara, born in 1928. Female. Okay. So I think Pharos is the sire of Nirko, and Nogara is the dam of Nirko. Which, this chart is a little confusing about that. So, and then Pharos, F 
Pharos is a descendant of Phalaris and Scapa Flow. And then these made that, and these made that. Okay. I'm getting an understanding now. So really, this chart, Nirko needs to be like here, and these need to be pushed together. So we should actually probably better look at this one. <clears throat> okay. Are there any that doubled up? Yes, St. Simon is here twice. St. Simon is here twice. And that is the same horse. Oh, St. Simon is here twice, too. Okay, this is a much better chart. Let's totally freaking get rid of this. Here we go. This is what we need to look at. So we're essentially starting here. And I don't think we've screwed up anything yet. So let's readjust our chart with this. I know this is all very confusing and probably won't make a difference, but let's totally start a new spreadsheet. Okay, and we're going to go backwards. Uh, all right, I'll keep this because this tells us what we've already done. So, Lucifer's Poyans, our best boy, has made it with two d dams, two mares. The rest have only made it with one. Okay. So, on this chart, from this first generation, St. Simon was used twice. So we're going to treat Lucifer's Poyans as St. Simon. So we'll do one, two, and we're going to basically mirror image this chart because I like going from left to right. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So Luce, Lucifer's Poyans is now Saint Simon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Did I do that right? Let's check. 22 minus 8 is 14. Should be 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Oh boy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We got that right. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We need him in the 23rd spot, which he is. Okay, perfect. So, Lucifer Poyans, our proxy St. Simon. Up here, St. Simon mated with Sunrise. So we're going to have Blinding Mitten be our Sunrise. And St. Simon and Flying Footstep. 
Flying Footstep will now be Savannah. And then you can do Do we need all of these? We definitely need those two. Okay. This is very <laughs> complicated for my brain who hasn't slept in two days. So this is our new St. Rose, St. Rose, St. Simon and Sunrise, which will give birth to Cherry. Okay, we do need all of them. So this is going to take us a while. But. <sighs> that's okay. So we'll continue. We need all of these, so we're going to have to do a lot more breeding in the future. <sighs> so. Bona Vista is now going to be Sarando and Arcadia is now Berisim Ri fuck Rising excellent and then We'll do, oh, might as well just put it right here, because we're going to have to do all of them. General Gambul was our third stud we used. General Gambul and Lu Hasoa Majestic. And then we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve more couples. That's a lot of breeding, folks. We're into it now. Uh, we're really starting a dynasty here. This is gonna take. It's gonna take a while. Shoot. Um, we don't have enough money for all these horses. We better s start breeding them. So. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we decided nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. This is the end. End mare. We need to fill in all these spaces with breeding couples that are unrelated to each other. That's quite a task. It may take several years just to acquire that many mares. Unless we just buy all of them. Do they all have to be great? Or can some of them be shitbags? Do we just buy every mare? Let's take a look at the years. We really need to look at these years to see what years they conceived these horses. Okay, so it's kind of a span between 1883 and 
sorry, 1881 and 98. Ninety-eight minus eighty-one is seventeen. So <sighs> they acquired all of these offspring. It took them. What did I say? Ninety-one minus eighty-eight. No, I already forgot. I think it was seventeen years to get all that done. Hmm. So that's totally fine. I think I hope I hope we can do it. I'll be really sad if we don't accomplish it. But we need to start really getting going on Most importantly, we need to Hmm. You know, I'm going to I'm going to adjust these around. Because the most important thing is that we have to use St. Simon again. So he can't be too old. We don't want him to retire before we're able to use him. St. Simon needs to go with Canterbury Pilgrim, which is this these two's offspring. So let's rearrange these. And St. Simon and Sunrise. Gallopin and St. Angela. No, that's Say Simon and Sunrise. What? Wait, 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 wait. Am I totally screwed up here? Again? <laughs> this is the same horse, right? Okay, so Gallopin and St. Angela sired St. Simon. And then St. Simon mated with... Okay, that's all right. We're learning. So we got our Lucifer boy here. This is Lucifer and Sunrise. And then let's just paste this for a second. And then Lucifer in Savannah. Okay, that's still there. St. Simon, St. Simon. So we got Lucifer and Lucifer. Those are still good. And then, okay, so the offspring of Tristan and Pilgrimage is who St. Simon needs to mate with. So let's say that General Gambul and Luhosa are now, now need to show up. Here. And then Lucifer. Lucifer needs to Saint Simon Saint Simon and Sunrise Gallopin and Saint Angela. This new pair. This is Gallopin and 
St. Angela. They create Caliban and St. Angela. Oh no, those are my parents. Okay. Those are Lucifer's parents. So Tristan and Pilgrimage. This is Tristan and Pilgrimage, and their mate will breed with, or their offspring will breed with Lucifer. Right? I think that's right. And then we have these. Sadie T and Chaff. And then their offspring will mate with Lucifer. Okay. Okay, I think this is right. That's the only time we'll need Lucifer again. Right? Right. We still need all of these other ones. Okay, now I'm just going to clean up my chart. Sorry this has not been a more exciting episode. <laughs> but this is what it takes to try to implement something from real life. Ah. So I'm just going to break these up into little two block chunks. Some chunkaroonies. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this. That ends there. And then big chunk here. I'm actually just going to copy and paste. And then I'll do this. This is the faster way to do this. All right, so that's first generation, second generation, third generation. And these two do like that. All right. First generation, second generation, third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation. And then our final horse will be this one. And let's give it a nice border. Um, where's the border? Here's borders. There we go. All right, that's fine. And let's go ahead and color code it too. Why not? We'll select all the odd ones. You're getting a lesson in Excel here.
Ah, shh. Really? I can't believe I just did that. All right. So let's actually do this. This will be better. We'll fill it with pink. That's an ugly pink. How about a nicer pink? That's too extreme. A light pink, please. Okay, there we go. Boop, 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 right? All right, that's going to confuse me, so let's just do it this way. I like to be organized, if you can't tell. Have we screwed up? we've screwed up let's just do it one row at a time or one column at a time all right let's give us a nice blue a light blue blue classic there we go doesn't look right. One, two, three. Okay. One, two. This doesn't look right. What have we done? Okay. So it's actually I got it. Shit. Shit. Uh. What have we done? These actually need to go here. Okay. And these two need to go here. All right. All right. He needs to go here. Fix that. Color it in. That's the wrong color. Blue. Okay. Blue. Blue. We're getting there. Uh. Blue. The only other thing that's going to be difficult 
is that since mares can only produce one foal per year, um, like for these two, if they produce a male, you know, we can't use them. I mean, they might be good and we can race them or something, but for this master plan, we can't use them. So we'll have to mate them again until they produce a female. Which will be difficult. Or, or, we can rearrange them on the chart if they do produce a male and we'll say, oh, they're actually this couple that produced this male. Yeah. So we still got a lot more to go, but I like this. Let me finish coloring in our squares here. All right. And then ideally I'd like a male horse to come out as our champion. So more time, make sure we have the correct borders. And as of right now, I think this chart is correct. The spawn of General Gambul and Luhasa Majestic will mate, if they're female, will mate with Lucifer's Povans. We don't need the end mare anymore. Okay. And I like how this looks. I'm going to go ahead and save this. We're going to save this as Horse Reading Chart. All right, so that's going to do it for me today. Sorry we didn't uh, get any racing in this season, but uh, we got a lot of work to do on this on this save. But until next time, I've been Ringmaster Blaze. Leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.